guys how you guys doing come along with me while i go for my weekly shopping and i'm going to bring you guys along it's actually snowing as you guys can see it's snowing and this is somewhere around like evening but it gets dark basically because it's winter that's why so this is around 4 p.m but as you guys can see it's actually very dark so i'll definitely bring you guys along let's just go for a very quick weekly shopping i kind of like have a list of what i want to buy and basically just to buy like um protein right and maybe one or two things along the way so i hope you guys enjoy let's go i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until i look away but i've known you too long it hurts to watch your blue I'm so tired and it's actually snowed today of course I showed you guys when I was going so let me just show you guys what I got quickly for the week you know basically for the week because so I got this bread I got this bread um, just like regular sliced bread and I think it's 3.49 I don't really know <laughs> Then I got, look at how cold it is. So I got this conflicts. Yeah, I, I usually love having conflicts, especially like Mondays and Fridays where we have like 8 o'clock classes. At least I need to have conflicts so that Mondays and Fridays where we have 8 o'clock classes, I can just quickly eat, you know, this conflict before I head to class. So I got this um, Maggie Cubes. So I don't know what I think it's called Colino, but this is what it looks like. It's a Polish Maggi actually. So, and this is the two different types. So I got like two different types of it. Then I also got. I think the the Maggi is like two slots or thereabouts. I don't know. Then I also got their noodles. Also, I usually eat their noodles, but the only thing is that I add like my own. Um, spice like what i mean like my own spice i mean like pepe i add like my own pepe to it so this i got about four of them and then this is the first time i'm trying this tomato this is the first time because one of my friends at the mall recommended this tomato for me because i don't know but my friend recommended it for me in the mall so i got one to try it out and this is what it looks like i think it's about is it four or three or five let's see i don't know but this is what it looks like i think it just like chops tomato i've not used it before so i can't really see and also because maybe because like this season tomato is expensive like the fresh tomato is expensive this season because it's winter right so i don't know like i said i've not used this i'll try it out but i also got spinach i also got spinach is frozen spinach it's been cut already so it comes like a ball i don't like it's like a ball ball and this is what the spinach looks like it's just like vegetables to cook like my vegetables then i also got this um it has like green peas and carrots combination green peas and carrots combination so i use this for like my jello fries i maybe fried rice and this is what it looks like so i think okay then i think i told you guys i wanted to just buy protein right that was like the major thing that i like I, I knew i wanted to get that was like the major thing i you know really really wanted to get so i don't know but i'm just tired of chicken i feel like i've been eating chicken a lot and obviously i got tired of chicken also although chicken is actually like um i'm gonna say it's like the cheapest form of protein here 
so apart from shaking also i've also tried like turkey several times but one thing i really don't like about the turkey is the fact that it has bone and then i have to break the bone right because when they are selling it they don't cut it um they don't slice it like you know in nigeria for an example when you buy chicken or when you buy turkey they cut it for you like you can tell them that you want them you want them to cut it i think yeah it's a bit dark when you buy chicken in nigeria you can tell them that you want them to cut it you know and they'll definitely cut it for you but here they don't cut it they'll just give you so sometimes i find it very difficult to even like deal with the turkey bones and i think i'm even tired of turkey and then chicken in general because it's more or less like i've been eating that for in a long time so i tried pork and then i tried pork at my friend's place and it was actually very nice i was like you know what i'm gonna eat pork so i and let's see i know when i say pork people are going to be like pork i know that's okay pork is not something that everybody eats but trust me will you know this is pork will you know this is pork it looks exactly like this can you see it looks exactly like beef and i feel like the pork for an example in nigeria it has like fat the pork in nigeria right it has like fat it has like this um is it yellow or like fat yellow part you know but look at this look at this i don't know if you can it looks like beef like it looks like beef but it's actually pork you can see it looks like beef but anyways i'm okay with it <laughs> And I just like tried it. So this is about 1.9 kg. It's about 1.9 kg. And I got it for I think 26 point something zloty. Almost 27 zloty. To be honest, you see, this is almost 2 kg. And I got it for 27, right? 26 point something, which is 27. If it was chicken, chicken is like 9 per kg. So this 2 kg could have given me 18 for chicken right but look at this 2 kg for pork this is like 26 so you can see like the difference and if it's beef forget it <laughs> if it's beef forget it i think 2 kg for beef should be around like 40 something of like 40 something or 50 something depending on the kind of beef maybe cow or goat or whatever so anyways these are the things i got for the week that doesn't mean that somebody will not spend money i don't know why somebody has to spend you will just be going to the mall and then money keeps leaving your accounts money keeps leaving money keeps leaving why <laughs> anyways these are my weekly shopping i'm not gonna cook this night because i'm tired i'll just cook maybe tomorrow after church tomorrow so good afternoon guys it's a beautiful monday afternoon and i just got back from class i had lectures from 8 a.m to 12 past 12 so this is you should be around past one so um I, my agenda for today for the rest of the day is to go ahead and send to orders so i have two orders that i made during the weekend that i'm gonna send out and if you haven't patronized me yes please and please okay support a small business okay and just patronize me anywhere you are in the world we deliver to you the link to my website is in the description box or you can follow me on any of the social media and do and reach out to me directly you can make like any custom made fees female dresses anything okay so support me thank you so um agenda for today is to finish up in terms of packaging ironing and send out the two dresses and it's also go to the post office to drop on and also deliver one those are the two um dresses that i made during the weekend and also i also want to create content so i have like two machines i'm going to show you guys the singer four thread machine and also the singer straight sewing machine so i'm thinking of creating a video on how to pass the machine thread especially the four thread machine which is actually like very difficult if it's not a machine you are used to or if you are a beginner you know so i'm also thinking like should i create the videos today like for the both machines two different videos and also like post it so if it's something you're interested in if you're looking out for 
a machine to buy that is easy that you can easily pass the trade you can easily operate i recommend like these machines i've been using it for a while now i think about two months thereabouts and so far so good there is no issue i don't have any issues with the machine they so well and they're actually very very okay so i'm thinking of filming the content but then again i'm like i think i need someone to hold the camera for me so that i can shoot the content because i have to be passing the trade and it can be um a bit detailed but i'm like i think i can also figure it out it might just be a bit stressful for me but i can figure it out but let me see if i'll be able to do that and then film the two um two videos for the two different machines try to finish up and package up with the dress and also go and deliver the dress another thing i also want to do is to clean up my room i want to clean up my room my room is not like a mess 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 but I just need to like put things in order clean them up and also have like a very clean space so let me show you guys what the machine looks like so this is the singer for trade machine it usually has like um it has this four trades that you just pass in it can be a bit tricky for beginners and this is like the singer um they made it's like a very straight sewing machine so i use this for the straight sewing and i use this to weave because or to weave or to interlock because you guys know that as a designer it is also very very necessary that you have a very clean finishing with your work you try to like seal up the inside like every every stitch you have um the four thread is just like seal it up like weave it gives like a very neat finishing so that is pretty much my evening agenda so if i'm able to accomplish all of this then i can just like relax during the evening and then work on my school um project because i have an assignment for that aside that also before i forget i also have a presentation that i'm supposed to prepare the powerpoint today because i'm presenting it on wednesday i feel like this week is just like presentation presentation powerpoints powerpoints powerpoint this semester every courses has presentation and powerpoints to present but some of them are in a group and some of them are individual it depends on the assignment so i also have to prepare the powerpoints for that i'm working on um I don't know, I'm still thinking either to work on cocoa yam or either to work on granite. This is basically just like selecting a food crop in your country and talking about it in terms of GDP and how it contributes to the GDP, the inflation, the land, the labor, the capital, you know, the exports and the imports. I need to do that also but i think i can just do that in the evening it's easier for me to work on school work in the evening where i'm a bit relaxed i know i, I just have to like switch on my ipad or my laptop and then work on it than doing all this kind of you know stressful ones in the evening i don't know if you guys get but that is basically the life of a student who is also running a small business i have to manage you know a portion different time and manage it effectively that is not to say that i am managing it effectively i am also struggling to balance things up i am struggling to balance things up i feel like i have 1001 things to do that i don't end up doing honestly i also need to go shopping also i need to go shopping i don't have bread i need to buy protein i need to buy spinach i need to i also need to go shopping <sighs> that before i forget i need to go shopping today is monday and i need to go shopping to enable me to have food to eat during the week right so and also because i need to cook maybe today if i'm able to go shopping today and buy protein then i'll be able to cook but if otherwise then i'll cook tomorrow i can just eat like maybe potatoes or i can just find maybe noodles or rice something very easy to eat so i'm also very i'm also struggling with balancing things up i feel like there are a lot of things that i have to do especially in the terms of my business that i am not doing well or i am not doing effectively and sometimes it's a struggle for an example 
the whole of last week right i couldn't even vlog or do any content because i had a lot i had a lot of orders i was sewing i had like school work i had a lot of presentations you know like i just have like a lot of things going on that i didn't even like pick up my camera to vlog you know so i feel like sometimes i'm able to balance things up sometimes a part is slacking sometimes a part is not slacking sometimes i feel like well we are not eating ourselves hard we're also gonna what there's this post that i've been trending on tiktok if nobody can you, eh, oh god let me remember if nobody praise you praise yourself yourself you don't have to pass yourself something like that i don't know if i can find it but you just basically saying um applaud yourself you know you're also doing well i don't know if you guys get it but now let's get ready let's get ready film the content package the orders send these um deliver the orders go shopping maybe and also cook maybe and work on my presentation on my powerpoint that is literally like my monday 